G'day folks, welcome to episode 9 of Beginner's Collection Essentials and this video is all about the 3x3x3 Mix-Up Plus. Now, I want to talk about the Mix-Up Cube, the 3x3x3 Mix-Up Cube. That one was invented and patented in 19... when? You're all going to think like 2000 or something. No, 1985 by a man called Sergei Makarov. You've never heard of that name, neither had I until I researched this. Mr. Makarov made it as a one-of-a-kind puzzle and it was never, ever mass-produced, but he did patent it. And what happened is, in 2009, he actually called it the Makarov puzzle or the Hedgehog Cube. In 2009, Oscar van der Venter made a Shapeways version. He had no idea that Mr. Makarov's version existed. And so he made his Shapeways version and then in 2013... Wit Eden ended up mass producing the Mix Up Cube. So remember, not talking about this one, talking about its baby brother, the Mix Up Cube. So that was 2013. Now, the Mix Up Plus was actually invented, so now I am talking about this one. It was actually invented by a man called Yu Yu Chun. Now, I'm assuming that Mr. Chun is also Mr. Wit Eden, or else some associate of Mr. Wit Eden. I don't know. But this is the Mix Up Plus. Now, the plus here refers to the split edges. On the mix-up cube, these edges are not split into three bits. They're just one solid piece. Still with two colours, but there's no split. So that's the difference between the mix-up cube and the mix-up plus cube. Why is it called the mix-up cube in either version? Well, it's called the mix-up cube because it mixes up the centre pieces and the edge pieces. For example, here's an edge piece. On this thing, I can actually kind of turn the center there and I can put this edge in here and if I now turn that you can see oh boy that's gone a bit crazy um, so the the edge pieces here are filling the gap of the center piece the center pieces are filling the gap of the edge piece and if I go any further than that I'm going to lose it so I'm putting that back that's why it's called the mix up cube and this is the mix up plus because of the split edges now this one you remember that the mix up cube didn't come out till 2013. This one actually came out before 2013, I believe, produced by Wit Eden in 2012. So I think a few people were saying, why have you done the plus first? Why don't you do the mix-up cube? Okay, well, whatever. So they did the mix-up cube later. Uh, and I do remember, actually, back at the time, I was much uh, younger than I was now. Well, how old? Um, two years younger than I was now, and I didn't really have a good idea of the difference between the, the Mix-Up and the Mix-Up Plus, and I had a comment on one of my videos saying, this really should be called the Mix-Up Plus, and I was kind of like, oh, whatever, yeah, and I changed it. Oh, I should listen to that guy, because he was right, whoever it was. i got no idea who it was. But anyway, this is the Mix-Up Plus. Okay, so the, the plus, the split edges add a complexity to the Mix-Up cube, and that's why I've included the Mix-Up Plus as part of this collection, as part of... It's a different kind of cube. It's the, the first kind in this series where we've been able to exchange um, sort of different piece types, centres with edges and that sort of thing. And I think this is much more interesting, having the split edges. It enables us to do stuff. What about the turning? Well, you can still turn this. It's beautiful turning, really, really smooth. No problem with the turning at all. You can still solve it as a 3x3. Three three. So that, I guess, is the general idea, to reduce the cube to a 3x3 three three cube, and then that's they're the edges, and you've got your corners, and Robert's your father's brother. That's how it works. What kind of moves can we do here? Well, let's have a look. One type of move we could do would be something like this. We could turn that middle layer. In fact, I'll try and do it with a lighter color than that, if that's going to work. Turn that middle layer. That's better. I've got that lined up. We can do front two and bring down that middle layer. Return the front two. Return that middle layer and put that one back. What have we done? Hmm. Well, we've got the three edges here, which have cycled, and we've got a flipped edge. And so that shows that it is possible on this sort of cube to get a flipped edge, a single flipped edge, which is a pretty weird thing. Let me see if I can put that one back. Who knows whether I can or not. We'll give it a go. Oh, look at this. Proclaim it. I'm a genius. Okay, what else can we do? Well, this is one of my favorite things to do. You know that the corner piece series normally is an upturn and a right away, an up anti-clockwise, left away. 
If you don't know that, you haven't been watching my videos for very long. Okay, and what the corner piece series will do, will cycle three corners. One, two, three, count them. That's all it does. Let me just undo them for a minute. Um, now, let's do the corner piece series on this thing, but instead of turning the upper face, I'm going to turn the middle slice. So I'm calling that my upper face. Then a right away, then that, then a left away, continue. Okay, what's happened? That has gone crazy. That's come from there, and that's gone crazy. So we have actually got a three cycle of these little edge bits, and we've got two of them that are reversed. They're flipped kind of in their place. I think that's completely bizarre. So that is the uh, mix-up plus. Now I know, I might just undo that for a minute if I can. Um, wouldn't it be funny if I totally stuffed this up? But I don't think I have. Okay. Now in terms of you know going about a scramble, what you'd probably do is go and scramble it as a 3x3 three three first. Something like this. And when you're happy enough with that, then you'd go and do some, um, maybe some turns like that. You might put that one back, go do another one up here. Maybe some double turns. And when you get sick of all that sort of stuff, then you can go and do maybe just some turns like that. And then bringing it down and still doing some 3x3 three three stuff. What else? Um, turn like that. And before we know it, this is starting to take shape of something otherworldly. That one there. So you can see that this looks very, very cool when it is properly scrambled up. Now I still haven't really properly scrambled it up but you can see stuff is going everywhere. This is the mix up plus the 3x3 version. If you don't have any mix up cubes this is the one to get in my opinion. There are a whole bunch of others that were produced the 4x4, the 3x3x4, the 4x4x3. There may have even been some others I don't know but this is my favorite. I have this one and I would recommend it in your collection if you're following along with this series. There it is, the 3x3x3 three by three by three mix-up plus.